three months after a group of seniors vandalized East Lansing High School, this year's senior class is trying to set a new example. Good evening, I'm Anthony Sabella in for Lauren Fultenberg. Some East Lansing seniors spent their day off at school doing yard work around the building. As Susan L. Corey reports, they hope to start a new tradition their class can be proud of. The graffiti marks may be faded, but seniors are still trying to clean up the image left behind by a group of pranksters in last year's class. It was really hard what happened last year, and a lot of people were embarrassed, not only our school, but our community. On the last day of school, students found seniors 2014 spray painted all over campus. Six students were charged with misdemeanors for malicious destruction of property, which is why students spent the day weeding and raking all to make sure their class made the right first impression. This high school gave us everything, and I think it's just something little that we can give back to them before we leave. As leaders on campus, seniors hope to start a tradition of giving back, just in time for the school's spirit week. I always looked up to the seniors and seeing people who were just involved in so much. When I was an underclassman, I was like, I want to be like them someday, and now like I just want to do as much as possible. Staff say it's as much about setting an example for current students as it is creating a precedent for classes still to come. It's, it's really the community's building and, and their building. For, for them to take ownership of it and understand that it's their building, uh, I think is a real positive thing. And as seniors go into their final year, it's about leaving behind a legacy their class will be proud of. I don't even know if our class will do a prank, but we're going to do this first to make sure that they see that we really love our school. In East Lansing, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The East Lansing seniors were not alone today. Brothers from Michigan State's Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity also lent a hand for community service.